Welcome to History Bite. Today, we'll be taking a look at the Chilean War of Independence. This war took place in the 19th century between the years 1810 and 1818, so it was no short war. While the thought of independence had likely crossed the mind of many a citizen before then, it only really came to a head when Napoleon invaded Spain in 1807 and placed his brother Joseph on the Spanish throne. As a result, many Spanish who were loyal to the original king formed juntas and claimed control over Spain and the colonies until the king was reinstated. This was quite a predicament for Chilean people, as their course of action was unclear. Should they follow the French pretender who controlled the throne, the Spanish loyalist groups who claimed ownership of the colonies, or perhaps local leaders? Well, in their case, they chose to try the local leader route, which was a bumpy road but was ultimately successful. Local leaders formed a junta of their own and various trade restrictions were relaxed. These patriots managed to rule with relative peace for around three years. Jose Miguel Carrera was the first true leader of Chile, and of course he had his opposition in Bernardo Higgins, who led an opposing faction. They desired full independence from Spanish rule, which eventually led to a full-on civil war between loyalists and patriots. Hearing of this strife, Spanish troops from Peru took advantage of the situation and reasserted their dominance once more in 1814 at the Battle of Rancagua, which resulted in O'Higgins and various others having to flee to Argentina. However, when he was there, he won the support and trust of Jose de San Martin, who at the time was putting together an army to liberate South America and Chile was the stepping stone he needed. Many that had stayed in Chile had come to believe that full independence was the only way forward. In 1817, Jose de San Martin's army marched over the Andes and assaulted the Spanish troops in the Battle of Chacabuco. Victory was finally assured during the final battle of Maipu in 1818 when the last of the Spanish were force, forces were wiped out. This resulted in O'Higgins becoming the leader of Chile, and while it was at last free, there was still much work to be done. Thank you for watching today's video. If you want to hear more Bites of History, subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you'll never miss a new upload.